in the day, there's ones that take weeks, there's ones that cover every city and county and state that your employees are involved with. That's something, you know, again, you should be doing. Just be careful who you choose. Some are not doing as thorough a job. We recently found, we brought somebody on board. We thought they were completely clear. They went to the client, the client did their own background check and found that they were not. So we had two different reports. Ends up, our report was right, theirs was wrong. So we used our report to help convince the client and we found some errors. Anyway, it was just using the, the, the technology to, to shore it up. We, we use a company uh, called IntelliCorp. Um, they're very, very efficient. I can run MVRs, I can run uh, the criminal background check, I can do uh, sex offender research, I can do all the reports um, that are required, uh, at least in the state of New Jersey as part of um, what's required. I can do that through IntelliCorp. Uh, the cost is, is really nominal. You can get a package from them um, that'll give you the multi-state um, search, the sex offender registry search, and an MVR search. And the cost is probably, I would think, in the $30 range per applicant. Um, make sure that if you are going to do that, you do have the applicant sign off on an authorization to do so. So even though you will have their name, address, all their pedigree information, the social security number, um, you'll have that just as part of their application process. Make sure that you have a waiver signed from them that they're authorizing you to collect that data on them and that it may or may not be used in determining their hireability with an eligibility in your company. Wayne. Hi. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, Jeff, I want to limo here in Atlantic City. Um, I actually got two questions because you said New Jersey. Um, one, on the Applicant Pro and Hire 